Welcome to the Winter Campaign Week yes, 10. <laughs> uh, welcome, Will. Thank you, Jack. With yep. your Winter Costa yes. Thank you, Costa. Uh, mug. <laughs> Costa gave us those uh, cups. He's not just popped down to Costa. Once again, we are back in Cafe 43, bringing you in to where we work every Wednesday and Thursday from 9.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. at Cafe 43. And what we wanted to talk to you about this week, I know we've spoken about it lots, but the weather is really going to be horrible as we record this on Tuesday the snow is piling oh, down yeah. it's going to be freezing over the weekend so we want to give you the information you need if you're out and about in Stafford and you see anybody on the street and what's available and how you can spread that information to your friends will swept we talk about it a lot <coughs> yeah. it's four letters severe, severe weather, weather emergency, emergency protocol, protocol. Oh, okay what does sweat mean well okay so it stands for <laughs> severe, severe weather, weather emergency, emergency protocol. protocol and what that is it's the provision that the borough council put in place uh, which is emergency accommodation um, and Who's when that available to? So that's available to anybody who is outside, either rough sleeping or finds themselves in a crisis outside. Um, and what they need to do, and this is very, very important. So if you see somebody or you come across somebody, you need them to or go. Or you are somebody. Or you are somebody. You need to go to the Riverside offices of Stafford Borough Council. That's past Revolution on the way to the new sort of shopping centre. Um, Bike down by the river. You need to register there, and you need to be assessed initially before um, five. Before PM. five o'clock, yeah, and that's key. <laughs> Holding onto um, a pen there. Five. You then get the offer if you're on the list, uh, and there is limited space. So this is why it's so important. You then get the opportunity to go to Eagle House, where you will be risk assessed. Um, at some time around about six or just gone off just after six. It means then that you're on the list and you can go back from eight o'clock in the evening till nine o'clock the following day. And you're provided with access to the main sort of uh, sitting room area. So you have a, a sofa, there's probably four or five people with you um, and you're safe out of harm's way. But it's critical that you go and register first. Don't simply turn up mm. at, at Eagle House because they'll say you're not on the list. So if you are passing somebody in the street and it's before five o'clock and you see somebody um, who is uh, sitting out in the cold um, or wandering around looking like they might not have anywhere to go, direct them to the borough council. Um, even if they know about it, it doesn't matter. I mean, when it gets to yeah. minus at night, uh, like it will be at the weekend, like it is this evening, uh, people need to know about yeah. it. We get told by the council when it is in operation. Yeah. We might put it up on Facebook. We could do. We're working with them to develop how they communicate it better, which is fantastic news. So thank you, Cheryl, for that. So we're looking forward to being able to communicate it. But it is on their Facebook. Uh, it is on their fitter. Uh, Twitter feed uh, and probably definitely on their website so I think we can definitely put that out there I think that would be absolutely appropriate um, and it's critical for anybody that you come across particularly folk who are phoning me or phoning into House of Bread who are seeing somebody on the street um, and this has been happening every day of the week at the moment uh, and that person may or should know about SWEP go and talk to them, engage them in conversation. We always say um, that you need to ask that person what they'd like. Would they like a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a Greg sandwich? Thank you, Greg, for your continued support. Could I also mention Streetlink? It's an app available on your smartphone. You can go on there. It asks you a couple of questions, where you've seen the person, and the description of that person and the time. It doesn't even ask you who you are, I don't think. And that will go through to the Borough Council and to the agencies that will respond. But that's really important. So you can be on your smartphone, you see somebody in that situation, it is at wherever. It might not feel like you're doing something, but that is really it is, important. because the agencies will pick that up. And then ev inevitably, um, we hope that we will get involved in supporting and, them in a more holistic way. So And SWEP is available to every council across yes, the across country. The United Kingdom. So if you are watching this, we know some people watch this, who, who aren't in Stafford yeah. um, and you see somebody swept that, that is the protocol that, that will be yeah. in through the council every council has different requirements um, when it comes to the severe weather uh, but pretty much if it's going to be minus or if it's really windy yeah. um, if it's going to be horrendous weather to sleep outside the council will probably be doing something about yeah, it yeah and that's really important and that's currently that's running to Thursday but it's reviewed every day so if this weather continues uh, which it looks as though it will then it will be moved forward so keep on the, the Twitter feed for us or the borough council or just generally a, around so the, the critical thing is don't pass by I know you're not. People are not passing by, mm. but this is We're the advice. We're getting more messages than ever about Absolutely people. Absolutely fantastic. So I, like keep like them I said, in. despite us, you know, knowing 99.9% .9 every time somebody messages, it's great 
to know that people are still concerned and also um, you know we, we know if somebody's meant to be at a meeting and somebody says oh I've just seen so and so outside somewhere we can go right we'll go down and see them but they're meant to be in a meeting in yes. half an hour so yeah. right thank you so much uh, for watching and listening to us talk about that again the only reason we want to say it is just because it is going to be horrible in the next couple of days mm. if it's the same next week we will be talking about it again <laughs> yeah. uh, so if you don't want to hear about it next week and you know it's going to be cold don't tune in but you should anyway because you might learn yes. something new thank you very much Will for joining thank me thank you Jack uh, Hob News is back for 2019 yes, it is exciting. available on Sundays okay. bigger and better than ever Hob News so much going on so much that you guys are doing thank you so much for watching we will see you next time goodbye goodbye goodbye